close your eyes and lift your mind to the breath. What that means is you don't have to follow the concerns of the world. Lift your mind to a higher level. You're working directly on your mind, trying to put the mind in better shape. So instead of following the ways of the world, you can be a leader. Lead the world in the right direction. Now whether other people will follow you or not, that doesn't matter. But the fact that you're ready to strike out on your own and raise the mind to a higher level, that's a good thing. We can't wait for other people to be good. Because after a look at the ways of the world, look at the values of the world. As the Buddha said, there are four kinds of people in the world. Those who come in darkness and go in darkness. Those who come in light and go in light. Those who come in darkness and go in light, and those who come in light and go in darkness. What the Buddha means by coming in darkness means you're born into a poor family with very few opportunities. Coming in light means that you're born into a wealthy family, good status, respected by others. Lots of opportunities are open to you. Now going in darkness means that you don't observe the precepts, you're not generous. In other words, you don't practice the Dharma. Going in light, of course, means that you do practice the Dharma. You observe the precepts and lift the level of your mind. The world tends to measure people in terms of where they come, how they come. But the Dharma measures you in terms of how you're going. How you come doesn't really matter. It's what you're doing with your life. That's what matters. The Buddha always says that the most important thing you need to focus on is what you're doing right here, right now. Because that's what opens the way to brightness in the future. So here we are meditating, lifting our minds. We're doing something that's bright. It's bright in and of itself, and it leads to brightness in the future. So no matter how you've been coming into the world, you can go in brightness. And that's what really matters. We are human beings. We do have choices. We're not machines. No matter how much people like to say, well, everything is predetermined. The Buddha said that was really, really bad wrong view. Because it makes any attempt to become a better person really impossible. Any attempt to put an end to suffering would be impossible. It's because we have choices that the path is possible. And it's because we have choices that we can lift the level of our minds. This is where our nobility as human beings lies. When the Buddha talks about the noble truths, he points to the fact that we're suffering not simply because we're on the receiving end of pain. It's because we're clinging. We're doing something that's not noble. But we can lift our minds. We can comprehend that fact. And in comprehending that fact, we lift our minds above the suffering. The same with our clinging, which is causing our suffering. Instead of following our likes and dislikes, we step back from them and say, where do they actually lead? If we're holding on to something that's leading to suffering, why hold on? We have the choice. We're able to lift ourselves. So always think of this. You have the opportunity to go in brightness no matter how you came. You always have the opportunity to lift your mind no matter what state it's been in. If we follow the ways of the world too much, we get more and more depressed, more and more discouraged. Because you look at the behavior of people around you, and there's a lot to be discouraged about. But you can say, well, am I here to look at other people or am I here to create goodness for myself and for others? Well, you're here to create goodness. That gives purpose to your life, gives meaning to your life, and it's a meaning that you can choose. So choose the brightest meaning that you can think of, and then pursue it. That's the encouragement that Buddha gives you. And many people have followed that encouragement over the centuries, and they've all found that you do get good results that way. So when you find your mind falling down into sorrow, falling down into greed, aversion, and delusion, remember you can always lift it up to make sure that you're going in brightness. Don't let the mind settle for anything that's dark. <laughs>